What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So I finally got my forks finished and I've come out today just to uh, have a little ride on the bike, bike and try and dial in the settings a little bit. It's um, feeling okay. It's nothing, um, it's not a massive difference compared to how it was, but uh, it feels, yeah, it feels quite nice. It's um, a little bit, I would say, a little bit plusher than it was before, a little bit less crashy. Um, so I've just had a little play with the compression and the rebound and uh, the preload is still set as it was originally so I haven't changed that yet but um, yeah it's feeling okay obviously I'm not on um, super duper tires and it's fairly cold today so I can't can't get mental but um, yeah I'm sort of enjoying it so I'm gonna stop at the um, next convenience store and just give it a little bit more uh, compression still feels a little bit soft and I might have a quick go with the rebound but yeah basically it's uh it's playing ball so I'm very happy about that so the one thing I'm not sure about is um the internet in its infinite wisdom said that the forks are supposed to have five weight oil so I put 7.5 in it just to sort of um try and stiffen it up a little bit make the oil a bit thicker but I'm not really sure if it's made much of a difference or not because it actually feels smoother and nicer um, that could could just be because the oil is new and whatnot but um yeah it's uh well it's job well done i guess so pat myself on the back good job tj pat 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 yeah i pat myself um yeah so the other reason that i made this quick quick update video today is although in the part one video i said this is part one so tune in next time for part two the actual assembly process was a major freaking pain in the ass and it took all sorts of really stupid bodges like in the end me and my mate had to buy some wire from the home center wrap it around the nut that holds the damper rod to the top cap feed that up through the spring spacer then compress the spring and then figure out a way to pull on that wire to pull it up at the same time as compressing the spring so it was kind of a pain in the ass and because we were both struggling like physically like trying to push the spring down and pull the wire and do all this other stuff it just it was a bit of a mission so I do have a little bit of footage which was just me um, filling up the oil and uh, bleeding bleeding the forks and then checking the air gap but I'm not sure how interesting that is I'll uh, maybe put that up as just like a, a clip that it's sort of boring but if you want to watch it then go ahead sort of thing but um yeah basically um i think i think the bike is slowly getting better i think the next thing now i need is uh, some new brake pads because these oh shit there's a police station there uh the brake pads are kind of fucked on this so uh, i need some new pads really ideally i need some new discs as well and then ready for the the hot weather i need some um new tires that policeman was totally looking at me <laughs> oh dear <laughs> but uh, yeah so that's the uh, end of the quick update guys if you like the video make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't done already which apparently 80% of my viewers haven't please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video ciao